I got the mild. But you didn't get the spicy? It said like a mild spicy, like a medium mild. I don't even know what that means. Popped enough? Um, yes. Want to check the dog again? Want a little sippy drink? You know, a little bendy straw? Good. And it's all hunky-dory? Ready to yes. go. Yes. You go to the bathroom? I'll hold it. Okay, Tribeca Film On Demand proudly presents... We bring Tribeca to your home whenever you want. Sorry. Passionate about movies? We invent ways to love them even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. That's great. Now, let your applause die away quite naturally as if it were real and not in any way. Forced out of you by a half-in-the-bag warm-up comedian. And when I say half-in-the-bag, I think you know what I mean, Jeff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this audience seems to favor the awkward pause over the react. Have you noticed that? Well, then it's the awkward pause we shall give them. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you can't frighten me. I was raised by Scottish women. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. 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 It's a great a great American landmark celebrates its birthday today, the Golden Gate Bridge, 75 years old. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge. They've been celebrating in San Francisco. Guys were taking off their clothes, dancing in the streets, throwing, <laughs> throwing big parades. <laughs> then they heard about the bridge, they're like, oh, God! <laughs> they don't need a reason for a parade in San Francisco. <laughs> Do you know that a nude maid service has just opened in Texas? This is true. Someone comes to your house and cleans it in the nude. I'm like, really? Why would you start a nude maid service in Texas? I'm thinking, why would you do that? And they think, of course it makes sense. It's bush country. That's why you do it. You may begin your awkward pause, audience. About you, but after the show, I'm getting in line at the movie theater tonight because there's a new movie open tomorrow. I'm very excited about the documentary about apes. <laughs> Awkward pose. Oh, yeah, I so. <laughs> apes. You know what I'm talking about? Apes. You know what apes? They drag their knuckles and make the <laughs> <laughs> noises. Uh, do we got a poster for this documentary about apes? Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. No. Those aren't apes, the real movie poster. There you go, look at that. Isn't that cute? I know, I also want to go, ah, uh, at a photograph. What's wrong with you? It is adorable, though. It's like someone combined the, the cuteness of a baby ferret, Justin Bieber, and Katie Couric. Think about it. But actually, chimpanzees are very aggressive. People like to humanize them, you know, put them in little outfits, and they're like, oh, look, look at the chimp, he's cute, his little jacket from Sears. <laughs> Chimps like, ah, 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 ah. Chimps are like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is chimps should not be humanized. You shouldn't humanize wild creatures, don't humanize chimps, you don't humanize Kardashians. They are what they are. <laughs> By the way, that would be... That would be our hundredth Kardashian joke of 2012. We got a graphic for that? Let's see, come on. <laughs> well, that seemed to wake them up. They liked that. Well, you gotta know your audience. Yeah, I guess. Just stick with the Kardashian jokes. And here's me trying to do a, something about a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, there's a monkey documentary out. <laughs> it's made by Disney. It follows the life of a baby chimp called Oscar. 
I, I, I can't, I have a feeling that the, the chimp's name wasn't originally Oscar. It's not like the, the, the chimpanzee parents are like, let's name him Oscar. <laughs> I can't do the voice of a chimp, all right? So, <laughs> chimps talk like Scooby-Doo, probably. <laughs> Ro or they, either, they talk like Scooby-Doo or, or, or Sean Connery or Michael Caine. That's it, that's all I can do. <laughs> yes, that's right, I'm a chimp. Where's my <laughs> banana? <laughs> That's right, give him his banana. Hurry up. <laughs> anyway, Disney naming the, the chimp Oscar, it's a little on the nose, don't you think? We might as well just call the chimp best documentary feature. <laughs> Nature documentaries are popular now because of that March of the Penguins movie, but let's, no, no one watched that for the penguins. No one watched the March of the Penguins. No one gives a rat's ass about penguins. Penguins are just cold pigeons. <laughs> they are <I'm> like. <laughs> the reason the movie was successful it was because it was narrated by Morgan Freeman. Now I've said this many times before. If your movie has Morgan Freeman in it, it's automatically good. That's what the chimp movie needs. Morgan Freeman. You do Morgan Freeman. What would what would Morgan Freeman say in the chimp movie? Those chimps should get busy living or get busy throwing poop. Great! There's your Oscar. So they want uh, Morgan Freeman impressions and Kardashian jokes. Uh. Yeah, or you could combine the two. The hell? Well, uh, how, how would one combine the two there, Jeff? I sure love me some Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, nature documentaries. I picked the topic and I'm sticking with it. They're better today than, than when I was a kid, the nature documentaries. I remember the Disney nature shows back, you know, there's old grainy footage of scorpions uh, dancing around with each other, spinning around and they would play square dance music. <laughs> Am I the only one who remembers this? Grab your partner by the stinger, throw him around like a, like a chair on Jerry Springer, something like that. And then, you know, I used to watch the old uh, Jacques Cousteau documentaries about the sea, the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. He'd always humanize the creatures. He'd be like, oh, look, he's a little crab on board the Calypso, a little crab. We have given him the name Crabby. <laughs> I'm a marine biologist. I don't make up names, all right? <laughs> It's crabby. Crabby will have to do. What do you want me to call him his name? Oh, Sebastian. That's a name for a crab. <laughs> crabby. Crabby is his name. And here he is on board the ship, uh, reading a magazine. <laughs> That's the best Jacques Cousteau impression I think anyone's ever done, really, isn't it? Awkward pause number 30. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh... It's amazing what they can do with the documentaries now, with the wildlife documentaries. They have cameras so small, they can fill film inside an anthill without disturbing the ants, which pisses me off, because I have to get a colonoscopy and the camera's about that size. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'm like, why can't we have the ant camera? I get this camera and the guy standing on the side working the crag, and the other guy shouting in the microphone, action, I'm like, action? <laughs> See what I did there? I went for uh, poop humor and things seemed to work out fine. And it was marvelous. You do enjoy a poop joke, don't you? Oh, I love a good fecal matter joke. <laughs> See, it just sounds classy. It's like a British accent. When you use a, an English accent, things sound classier. It's like, oh yes, I do enjoy poopy, poopy humor. <laughs> do you rather? Yes, I do. Why at Downton Abbey we do nothing but walk up and down saying poopy jokes and Kardashian things? <laughs> Why those Kardashians, they make me laugh until I feel quite chipper. No, I say, you have me all in a tizzy. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Well, there you are again, watching the Late Late Show. Look at Craig, the way he flops around and makes those silly noises. <laughs> makes you wonder what he's packing under there.